Okay, so you might be wondering, what do these guys have to do with this? Well, you're watching Tech in a Nutshell episode four, so I guess we'll find out pretty soon. So the year was 1992, the current version of Windows was 3.1, and people just weren't having a great user experience. Naturally, Microsoft wasn't very happy with that, so the company formed a team of professionals that essentially had two tasks, to identify current shortcomings in the UI, and to come up with a better solution. At the head of the group was a Mr. Daniel Oran, a behavioral psychologist who had a rather unique credential. You see, while attending Harvard, Oran had undertaken a user interface design project in which he devised a device of some sort that was supposed to teach Austin and Sherman here a few English words. The folks over at Microsoft probably thought, if he can teach a chimp how to speak, he can sure as hell teach a normie how to use a computer. Needless to say, Austin and Sherman never spoke a word, however, the project did give a lot of insights into how to design a computer program that, this time metaphorically speaking, even a chimp could use. While working at Microsoft, Oran and his team would give test subjects some simple tasks and then observe how they would go about executing them. This quickly turned into a frustrating experience for the young behavioral psychologist, not only because the Windows UI had people confused in most cases, but because of the reaction of his colleagues, who actually thought that the problem was in the users and not in the operating system. In other words, people just didn't know where to go, and the programmers observing them thought they were morons. Oran, on the other hand, knew that if users couldn't even figure out basic navigation, the problem was obviously in the UI. And that's when he came up with a simple but brilliant solution. He would give them one single button, which led to everything. Originally, the button was called System and was placed at the top of the screen, but because the name sounded too technical, test subjects would often avoid pressing it. So they changed it to Start, which obviously proved to be a smooth move. But besides not knowing where to go, users also often wouldn't know how many programs were already running in the background. The current version of Windows did have a task manager that made this possible, but the average users didn't really know their way around the utility, that is, if they even knew it existed. As a solution, Oran came up with the concept of a bar on the top of the screen which would display a tab for each program that was running. But because most computer monitors at the time ran at low resolutions, the bulky tabs would quickly occupy too much space, so they were shrunk and redesigned until they eventually formed what we now know as the Windows Taskbar. In the final product, the Start button and the Taskbar were paired and moved to the bottom of the screen, and the rest was history. And if, after all this, you're wondering what happened to Austin and Sherman, well, this is Tech in a Nutshell, and we don't have time for no monkey business. Yeah, I know. I'm a world-class comedian. What can I say? Thanks for watching, and as always, stay strong. Stay strong.